when you look at what's happened and who's done well and who hasn't, it's definitely small businesses and middle class families that are, are carrying the burden there. So I am in a group called Make It in America, and I've been there since the beginning, except for my two-year uh, sabbatical, you know, course sabbatical. <laughs> so we have a number of pieces of legislation, which I'd be thrilled to share with anybody, and hope that you would also support this, to say, you know, bring, bring these jobs here, and to, to support the, the ones that do that, so that we can manufacture here. This manufacturing is key, and I've been seeing some good stats, and I think you have all Anybody in manufacturing here? Okay, that's really been an a, a effort, I think, by on the part of Republicans and Democrats, and I think we're seeing some great success in manufacturing. I looked at the numbers for this month and thought, okay, we're in the right direction. And also the programs that you see at the, at the community colleges, the, the PAC money, are building those liaisons between the community colleges to train the workers. I was instrumental in that, and I, I love that. I love putting the you know, community together, so you have the colleges, and you have the businesses and you have a, a pathway for students. So I'm working on, on the small business legislation. I'm working on changing the tax code, and that will probably, honestly, not happen, but highlighting that. I'm working on campaign finance reform because I think in order to make everything else happen, you've got to have campaign finance reform. We simply have to. It is obscene down there. And I, just, I don't take any corporate tax money or the DC lobbyist money. I have to tell you, I'm not, I'm not commenting on anybody else because I know how hard this is to do, right? But we can't change ourselves. You guys have to demand a constitutional amendment or something for us to change. But I'm working on that. I'm on, on legislation to do that.